Uh, Twitch is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, the biggest live streaming platform out there where people of any kind can host their own live streams and just end their shows. And over the time, as late as Feb 2020, it has garnered over 15 million users live currently, like live who are watching it at the same time. It used to be a part of like, like, like a bigger live streaming platform uh, called Justin.tv until that was shut down and Twitch later on was bought by Amazon in 2014 and since then has been an Amazon uh, subsidiary. So this is just a basic, uh, some screenshots of what a Twitch chat is like. Twitch chat forms a huge part in the Twitch live streaming experience. It creates this relationship between a streamer and its audience in a much more unique way. So as you can see in one part on the right one, there are people uh, who are like texting emotes and emojis out there, uh, unique emojis which are only custom to the channel. It helps uh, create this connection between them. And there's other one who, on the left, on, on the left bottom, which is based on a particular event happening there. I believe this was like around when, I'm not sure if this was recent, but it was based on um, the UX elections and it was ha apparently they were having a debate and this was happening. People were just copying whatever was being said on this live stream and just like, spamming it there. But as like I mentioned, it forms really coherent experience and and the, and the Twitch bot will help it kind of control the chat because in Twitch chat, while on Twitch chat you have various things happen, you can also encounter many kind of people who would try to obstruct the connection between the streamer and its users. So in order to protect against it or and enhance that good experience, you can have a bot which is running in the background which would act as and in between between the streamer and the user and which is what this whole thing is about so the bot would be made uh, would be run on node.js which is an open source runtime environment it will basically run any js code which you would type and it's used by many big companies like netflix paypal and even amazon themselves for their uh, web services so yeah, basically we would be talking about, like I mentioned before, it's a Twitch bot. It's a simple Twitch bot, which would be for your channel only. So it's for personal use. It's not for any public or you're not supposed to use that bot on a different channel or anything. And for this one, we would have to, it's only thing which, which we would have to install is uh, a framework called TMI.js. It's by it's a community driven platform and th that one basically has the methods and functions required to make a good functioning bot now we will exit the slide and okay it's exiting that one's going to take some time All right, great. So, so when we start, we have to we can start with creating a script. Uh, it could be called um, app.js or anything that you want to name. I will name it app.js. It's easier and simpler to remember. So, so to just to get over what we are doing here, so. Again, so uh, it, it is a Twitch bot, and what I'm planning to do is it would um, so it, it could allow me to control the chat in various ways. Like I could enable some modes, like that, so, so that in some instances only the, the followers can chat, or in some instances you can only uh, put a uh, chat with emotes or it's only for the people who are subscribed to the channel, that is, who pay a monthly fee to support the creators. Then, along with some, some additional useful gimmicks, 
and uh, along with that basically information about the streamer so users can check what is happening in case the streamer doesn't want to talk about it so to start with it first uh, we will install the uh, tmi.js itself so um, node no wait it's uh, npm install on tmi.js so this would is installing in the meantime what we can do is we can check the documentations so so this is the documentation of the so far the latest uh 1.4.2 the last time it was updated was two years so yeah that's nice but so basically you have these simple commands which you can use like action which you send an action message and you also have others like chat and stuff but instead of using that you could just say message yeah you can use say then the other modes like i was talking about like the emote only mode and you can switch off the emote only mode and this one is connecting to the server so when this would be uh when you're starting with the connection uh you would have to use this one and if you want to delete a message you could use this one but that's based on how you want to do it and you could use these actions and there are events based on events you could react so for instance if in the moment you have switched on the emote only mode so that only emotes can be checked can be spammed um you could so based on that you could configure what you want to happen during the event or if it connected to a server you want it to give a message of some sort so you could use these in that place and there are other functions Wait, i think i have one through it no i didn't other functions which talk about the state and check the, the mod status on it and i believe it has installed it has installed all right great so what we can do now is we can run um we can run um, npm in it which will basically like initialize the packages so package name is uh, twitchpod it's version 1.0 i don't have any description uh, entry point this is the entry point test command i have nothing there's no git repository for this one keywords it's nothing author i'll just say it's hassan because that's my name license nothing and from what it looks like this should be okay so i would just say yes so you have the package of json install it basically tells you all of this so we can start with the making so in the start um you went to you would use const um tmi so basically you are trying to fetch uh from the package tmi.js so requires require yeah. <laughs> um tmi.js i will say that and after this you want to put some options for the app.js so for in order to for the bot to work you will add like some little options which would help identify it now before i go over this one uh i want to talk about i just remembered that uh, when you want to run the bot you could either run the bot on a different account or in your own account by your own account i mean the person who's streaming it but for this one i'm using a different account because it kind of makes i want to say it makes more sense but it's it helps you understand more that it's a separate person who's it's a separate bot who's sending responses instead of yourself if you're using the chat yourself so so for this purpose uh you can use a different account i have an account configured already uh this one over here uh test lane bot one that's the bot that's an account i would be using so i have already have that configured so i will be creating options for this one so 
right now okay first of all there's semicolon that's important so i would be anchoring Right. Okay. So, yeah, that's zoom in because that looks good. Debug and true. So this would be basically uh, tell that this is in debug. You're not publishing this anywhere. This is for your personal use. And now you configure the identity of the bot or the user who is going to be controlling it. So we have the username and the password. Now before Twitch required users to enter passwords, but now they they have a token generator which with which you can generate tokens. Now if you were if you were to publish this, then you could go into the whole length of trying to register the application and there you can get the token. But however, for for like personal users or just for testing and debugging, there Twitch also has a token generator just for simple purposes like ours. So the username uh, is test lamebot underscore one. So lamebot underscore one. And the password we can generate that using um, yeah. here. So the URL is uh, twitchapps.com slash TMI. So we here this is the chat OAuth password generator. So with this you you just uh, so you generate a auth code so with which you would connect it, you, you would connect your bot to the Twitch servers so that you can use the chat that is a person's chat and the, and the thing is you shouldn't share this code with anyone because this is basically the password to your account so for this purposes I'm showing it but yeah after the stream I will change it because <laughs> I, I don't want someone to hijack it <laughs> and also if you want to work access so that people in case people uh, in, in case I didn't change the code and you know people find ways to use the account I can rework access so after this um, you or anyone can't access the script so I'm connecting and this gave me this auth code the password which would help me log into the chat all right, yeah, that, that's my identity. That's who people use her. And now it's the channels. Whose channel would this bot on be? Who would be on? So this will be an array because it could be many channels or it could be no channels. Actually, it should be at least one channel because you'd want this to run on a channel. But yeah, so the channel which I will be testing it on is this one, Lunar Moon. This is my personal Twitch account, and this will be used to test the box functionalities. However, I can add others over here as well, like, I don't know, uh, you have XQC, I have others, and I could add um, Tim the Tap Man. Now, now these are actual Twitch account and the two Twitch accounts I just mentioned are two of the most popular creators on Twitch and I would advise people not to do this because this would actually log your bot into their chat and, e and even though they might not notice since their chats would be uh, pretty heavy with people but yeah this isn't a good practice and I just wouldn't encourage this. This is for personal uses after all so People should not do this, if anything. So after I define the options, now I need to make the client which would allow this to link it with the servers using these options. So I have the const client and this would be the new TMI. So this is from the TMI package, tmi.client and 
have ops because these are the options I made. So over here, I'm basically stating that that I want to make a connection with with the Twitch using the commands and these options which I stated. So these options that this is what the bot is. This is who I am. I want to chat on this user's channel using the commands later on and yep so after this you would what you want to do is you would try to connect client dot connect I should add more space here since I would be adding much more code over here hmm? all right Oh, that looks good so I'll do node app.js and let's check if this one works so it is connecting and yes it is connected to a server it's executing the command join the channel and it joined the channel however I don't have anything here yet because that will come and I will enter that in the later process so for now what I can do is what I will do is I will do a simple demonstration of using one of the commands from uh, tmi.js so client dot on chat so this will basically check what happened what event is happening so Right now, I want to check that this is happening in the chat when people are sending texts. So it will try to check each messages while it's happening. So I would define. Hmm, what do I have to define? I have to define. So I would define. Uh, yeah, I would have to define a channel. The user state. The message that is what the message would be sent and self that is me and I could extend use all the arrow functions here and here's some colon in this I can define so so this is basically the current channel what's the state the user state is generally the user so if someone is going to text, so for instance, if a user called a person would uh, send a text, so this would be the person, and we check, and this would be the actual message, and message, and this would be the bot, that is, this guy, uh, test name bot underscore one. So I will make a simple if function. Uh, so if the message is equal to hello, so what it should do is the client, that is the user, should reply, would say something using a context or using a channel. So in this case, the channel is on loaner mode so if it detects hello in the chat of loaner mode then in the loaner mode chat it would reply some stuff at least it should in my opinion so hello now I'll save this and I would have to exit out of this thing again and rerun the bot so join the little node and for this one I can test it in many places. So this is the testing bot place and this is the dashboard for the channel loan alone. So we here this is the activity feed um, where the person will usually see new follow subs blah 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 and this is the chat section where the chat will basically be happening. So if I just go and say hello, it should 
respond this. So wait, why is this being responded? Check. Off. Okay, so I should reply hello and give didn't give a message, so that's neat. Okay, it says message is not defined, and I probably made a typo. That's a weird typo. All right, so do this and reply to channel hello. All right, now let's test it out. Okay, so it's connected again. And I will text it here. Text hello. That's weird. I'm not giving any messages. It should respond with a message. I mean, it is responding with a message, but it's probably because of some other functions. But yeah, how about what we can do for now is we can try different other functions. So you'd want to, in this case, we want to check if it's connected. So okay, it says message is not defined. Okay, no, it's it. Hello, applied. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so what what we can do here is for now, uh, we can add much more commands and then we can check based on those commands. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so for now I can I want to check if it's connected to a particular port. So uh, on, I will check if it's connected, or it should be in order comments. So this would be. Uh, it would be getting the ports so in this case it would get the address and the port port so add an arrow function this and it should uh, so this is just for an internal test so it would internally be testing this one where it's connected, so it should give a message to me. It should be other commas. So these are the other commas. So connected. The reason in this case I'm using different commas, so as so I can use the address and the port in this. So. And port this and port so I address just for my own help and save and the port so I will exit out of this one again. And I'll run this one again. Joined and it should print this one, but it isn't. It's weird because it says it's connected to the server and it says it's joining. Hmm. Yeah, this is weird. But however, we should carry on. So So now what I will do is now so so I could well here I could enter in the same place other commands which I want or I could or I could just use uh, another one of them so I'll get this here and so chat I will use message because it would be communicating on message and okay there's an error 
this problem. The parser is supposed to find n, comma, n is no comma. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, that's what comma should be, I believe. Not. Oh wait, a second. This should be outside. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because I was getting a viewer error. Right. So um, now I'll paste this one here. And uh, yeah, there would be a bracket and a semicolon. And that should work. Oh, we messed up another one again. Yep, I messed up. <laughs> okay, that's um, another bracket. Great. So in this, I will use message. So why I would be using message? Because message would basically encompass anything which is being sent, uh, whether it's action message or it's just a simple message. So it, either it's an action message or it's a chat or any other kind of message, it would receive it and based on that, it would give a command, it would respond, supposedly message so now in this case what I will do is I will try to establish simple commands like try to get if to check if it's only emotes or based on what the user is texted so if the admin that is the channel owner loaner mode the person or if the bot text it to be an emote only chat then based on that it should be based on the command suggesting emote only it would get make it emote only chat so you can only text emotes on it so um this, this, this one emote y so emote yes so the client will say No, wait, the client. Okay, what happened? <laughs> okay, that's a different mode. Okay, so the client what should go emote only. I believe that's the function. Yep, that is the function. And in this, you enter on which channel do you want it to be only emote only. Now, for this one, if you're using a bot, then you do need to give the bot the admin privileges so we need to make it a mod which is short for moderator which basically gives um, an account some admin privileges so it could change the color it could make the chat only followers only and it also has the rights to ban someone based on whatever the person said and if i have this i should also have another one which makes it not emote only. That is, I'm rewording it. So if I text emote in, then emote only would be off. Now, try this one. All right, it shows that it's connected. So that's good news. That's the one I was trying to connect. And based on that, let me check. So, I'm going to say I go like emote y. And yep, the bot did enable emote only mode for this room, so that's good. So, while in this case the bot and the user, Lunar Moon, would be texting it regularly, like in any regular chat in any regular chat format any other users who will be trying to use this could only text and emotes like um this one the park champ or just any emotes other than the text now if i want to switch it off i could just emote in and yep it's disabled so yep that's good so that works
Now I could also do the same thing for the followers. So if I want only followers of mine to text, then I could do something similar here. So follow a follower y and follower n. I'm trying to establish something like a similar syntax so it can help me remember and maybe if you guys are using something similar then I guess you can use this one as well. So y and n is well short for yes and no so that's pretty understandable. So uh, flowers, followers, only. I believe that's it. Yeah, that's followers only. Yep. And this one would be followers only off. And this channel I should be followers only would be off. And and yeah, I forgot to mention that anything which you do, the the terminal can see any chat which is happening. So if it's texting emote, emote y, if this user that is a test claim bot is texting emote y, then it, it executes the command and shows the execution and what state is it in. So even if the admin, that is um, the admin dashboard here, if I text um, emote y, then yep. Well, and it shows that it's enabled. So yeah, that's good. I should switch it off. Okay, um, emote and do, and now I will once again to test the followers. So joined. Okay. So I can go check the follow. Follower Y and yep, enable through mid follow only mode. However, I don't need follower only mode for now, so yeah, so disable follower only mode. It's good for me. And I'm going to need to it a little bit more. So I can also enter a clear function. So basically it will help me clear the old chat feed because as you can see the chat feed is getting a bit cluttered. So you can check if the message is clear, then I'm asking the client to clear the chat in this channel. And hoping that this is the actual command, I will try to Exit out. Nope, wrong C. And do this. Making authentication. It connects. Joined. Now, as a mod, if I try to clear this, it clear the chat, which is all the more helpful for me. In the mod, in the admin dashboard, you wouldn't see this because for the admins, it's uh, this plugin better TTW prevents it and it prevents it for the right reasons because um, even if you clear the chat even if you clear the chat as an admin you should still have the whole feed so you could check what or whatever is happening in it now here's one more now here's another one which I will think I will put this one here so now what I'm I will try to do is I will try to put some I will try to block some words from being used in this chat and if the words get and if the words are being used then the chat then the bot will try will, will delete it and inform the user that the message got deleted so first I will make a string array in this case it will be a wearable array um, variable blocked words so this would be the array into words like 
words, whichever block. I guess I can go for cats and dogs. I can't think of any other words, so these two words are seemingly fine for now. And what I would do is that with within the same message, I can enter the check. So, all right. So, do is I would define a boolean called uh, should send message. And I guess I can put this for true. I should have put this here. I should have put this inside the function. I guess I can put it inside the function. Okay, yeah, okay. Let's screen for us for a moment. <laughs> right, and moment, and it is true. And what I will do is um, to send messages. So this will check for the block words. Block words dot sum. So it would try to a block words. Add an error function here. And it checks if the incoming message would include the word so message uh, include okay. the block words not lower two lowercase that's two lowercase that is it's not it that looks like Oh yeah, it should be this thing here. And so this should be it. So basically this would check that um if this is true. Now if this is true, then whatever the message was, it would delete that message. And it would inform the user that the message got deleted in an if condition. So I make an if check and this is the condition that if this is, is um, true, or I can just keep it as this, then the client would delete the message. And it has the channel. And it has the user ID, and it would then that's about it. You could add like additional information like dot, then and then maybe add a catch, add a try catch as well for additional configuration. But for now, I guess this should work, this would be fine. And after that, it would inform the users. Uh, the message got deleted. Dot say. So I want to say in this channel that where's the other oh okay the other comma that at user date dot user name that I guess oopsie message deleted so yeah oopsie has deleted now hoping that this works okay this doesn't give a right oh yeah there's a dollar sign oops okay that works looks like it should work looks like the syntax is correct hopefully and also another thing, um, 
I forgot to add because I was noticing why I saw two kind of conditions. So self, if self, then it should return. So basically, if the message is from yourself, it should just return. It shouldn't check. So, so I can add that. And here's hoping that this works. See, run the bot. The bot runs. And in this case, this would be checked. Now, what I would do is try to check if I can run the command emote y. Emote y is enable. I want to check emote y is off. Oh wait, I already have it enabled, so mode and it's disabled. Okay, so now I want to try something uh, like blah blah cats. Right? The message got deleted and it replied that the message is deleted. So it showed me that this message is, this message is deleted and based on that um, you got to leave now if this was on a user's um, feed uh, you wouldn't see the message but since the lane bot is a moderator you can check it you can still see the message now another thing I want to mention is that for if you want to make it a mod you could uh, click on the user ID in the admin feed and you could make it a mod and unmod over here right away as simple as that and it also gives you much more information that, like any mod comments, what time, how many texts was it sent, how many bands did it do, and other things. So for now, I just want to clear the chat again and clear. Now, since we got the important stuff done, now we can add some little features into it, like I would say, in order to enhance the chat experience so like for instance uh, there's this game called Yakuza 0 for instance so in that there is a popular song reference so anytime the user texts something related to the game the bot will reply with with the song with the, with the little feed of the song so I can check if if the message um, mentions Yakuza 0 and also Yakuza 0 in caps because you have no idea what kind of message, what kind, what kind of message the user would kind of try to send Yakuza 0 so in this case, the client would say that in this channel, it should reply in caps of this song. I'm not going to put the song, it's long. So I'm just going to put a song like this. And here's the test to see if this works. Okay, it says message dot include. It's not a function. Okay, maybe I added something else. So dot include or is it includes? Boy, boy, boy. It's includes with an S. Yeah, I was surprised. All right, that's includes. Here's my error. I didn't notice this one before. <laughs> but yeah, includes. So, yep. Here's to run it again. Okay, wait, I have to save it. I can save it. I can save it. So I control C. I'll save this one. And let me run this one again. So it connected. And okay, this is the feed as can be seen. So what I would do is I'd say something, something. Yeah, 
hoping that works and just reply with another message which is fine and yeah that that, that works this is fine so we, yeah what else we have so far we don't have anything else so for now what we have achieved here is we were able to make a bot which can do some simple functions some admin related functions it can respond to simple user messages and it can also act uh, and it can also act upon words or i should say some certain words that it replies and if the words are not good or they're against us or anything or against the channel then the bot can automatically delete it without letting the people know what was texted so for now i guess this is it and let me exit out of this mode all right so for now i get guess this is it um and as it's loading i'll just contemplate looking into the camera here and it's hoping that it looks fast <laughs>